Want to know how much money a private equity firm will make on a $500 million fund that triples in value? Let's build a distribution waterfall real fast to find out. So here we have a $500 million fund and we are going to assume the sponsors invest 5% to have skin in the game. Next, we will assume the investors are entitled to an 8% preferred return and that the hold period is five years. So let's grow the capital invested by this 8% preferred return for a five year period and then subtract the original amount invested. That gives us the value of the preferred return. And we're assuming it triples to $1.5 billion. Now, the private equity partners will get a performance fee or carried interest of 20% for all their work. Now, this 20%, where's my finger? Yeah, this one here. That's why most people want to be in private equity. And we're going to find out why. So let's get started. In a distribution waterfall, the investors have to get their capital back plus any preferred return before any carried interest can be earned. And we need to confirm that there's enough cash in the investment proceeds to cover both the return of capital and the preferred return. So we're going to use the min function to compare total capital invested plus this preferred return in F17 and compare that to total proceeds in F21. And then, of course, we're just going to multiply that by our percentage below. Before we input the percentages, I'll just quickly paste this across and then we can link to their pro rata contributions. Again, carry can't be earned until this step, so this is just a zero. The next step is the catch up, which goes entirely to the private equity firm in the form of carried interest. So we zero everything else out. We can link to the percentage for carried interest above. And next for the calculation of carry, we're gonna again use the min function to make sure we have enough proceeds. So we're gonna take total proceeds and then subtract distributions made so far. Next, we need to calculate the value of the carry. So we're gonna take the value of the preferred and divide by 80% or one minus 20%, same thing, and then subtract the value of the preferred. Now this is gonna give us the value of the catch-up and if you found it confusing, I have details on how this works on YouTube, but we don't have time in this quick build video. Now it gets much easier. We just need to calculate the 80-20 split between investors and the sponsor. So we just take the remaining proceeds and multiply by pro rata percentages. The only thing to be mindful of is that now the investors only get 80% of the pie. So we're gonna take what they contributed as a percentage and multiply that by 80%. And then we're just gonna do the same thing for GP equity. So what we've effectively done is dilute the investors by the amount of the carry, which we fill in here. So to calculate dollars, we're just gonna take the proceeds remaining, subtract all distributions made to date, and we're gonna do that for both steps, and then multiply by the percentage below. Copy the formula across, and now we've completed step three. And the last step totals just involves summing everything up. So there you have it. The private equity firm would make $200 million in carried interest and the capital they invested would grow to $65 million. Not bad.